Okay, folks, so here we're, the place we're at is called Valle de Guerra. So we'll set the traps here. You can see there's loads of walls up there. There's lots of dry stone walls along here. So spread the traps around. Sadly, the weather is extremely unlizardy, so I rather doubt that many lizards will interrupt the daytime TV program to go and grab a slice of rancid salami. But we can but try, such as field work. We are setting our traps on uh, walls that face the sun so that we hopefully get some lizards and then we can compare them with the results from the other lizards we've got in different parts of the island because here we're in the northeast so we're going to investigate what the differences are and why they are. In this part of the area, this area Tenerife in the north is much more lush and wet than the southern part which is much more dry and the vegetation isn't quite as lush. And it's where um, the eastern of the two islands that join to make Tenerife are. So we're just looking to see whether the lizards here will be any different to the lizards either in the west or the west or the south. First of all, it's, it's a lot more fun when you've got your hands on lizards and stuff. It's, it's really good. But um, also getting to see it actually, uh, what see a theory put into practice, it's, it's a lot better. Um, Another thing is you get to see, um, you actually get to see the differences, you get to see what you'll be studying instead of just looking at a few lab results, looking at some lines on a graph, you actually get to see the uh, physiological uh, differences. It's the first one that I've held so far and it's the first that Lossie's caught.